we want to find the centroid or center of mass of the region with uniform density bounded by y equals three sine x, graphed here in blue, y equals one fourth x, graphed here in red, and x equals pi over two, graphed here in green. So if we think of this bounded region as a thin plate with uniform density, the center of mass would be the point at which this thin plate would balance, as we see pictured here for a different thin plate. In this example, we'll be using the graphing calculator to help us determine the coordinates of the centroid. To find the centroid, we'll first determine the total mass, which is equal to density times area, and since our density is uniform, we'll use the constant k for density. This integral here will give us the area, so this product will be the total mass. The moment about the x-axis is given by this formula, or this integral, and the moment about the y-axis is given by this integral here. So once we have the mass and the moments, we can determine the coordinates of the center of mass, or the centroid, given by this formula here. X bar is equal to the moment about the y-axis divided by m, and y bar is equal to the moment about the x-axis divided by m. So going back to our example, notice how the top function is y equals three sine x, that's f of x, and the lower function, y equals one fourth x, is g of x. Looking at the x-axis, notice how the region starts at zero and goes to pi over two, which will be our limits of integration. So the total mass is equal to k times the integral of f of x minus g of x, which is three sine x minus one fourth x integrated with respect to x from zero to pi over two. Now let's go to the calculator and evaluate this integral. Let's first make sure we are in radian mode, so we'll press the mode key. We are in radian mode. Go back to the home screen. Now I'll press math. We want option nine, so if we go up, notice here's option nine, function integration, enter. Now we'll enter the integrand, which is three sine x minus one fourth x, or minus point two five x, comma x, the variable of integration, comma zero, comma pi divided by two for the limits of integration. Close parenthesis and enter. Now let's store this value in A, so we'll press store, alpha math brings up the A and enter. And now this value is stored in the variable A, which we'll use later. For right now, let's say the approximate value is 2.6916. And therefore, the total mass is approximately 2.6916K. But remember, the exact mass would be the value we stored in A times K. Now let's find the moment about the x-axis, which is equal to k divided by two times the integral of f of x squared, that would be three sine x squared minus one fourth x squared or point two five x squared, integrated with respect to x from zero to pi over two. Now we'll go back to the calculator. Notice how k divided by two is the same as k times one half. So for the integral, we'll type in one half or point five times the definite integral. So we'll press math up to option nine, enter, enter the integrand carefully. In parentheses, we have three sine x squared minus, in parentheses, point two five x squared, comma x, comma zero, comma pi divided by two. Enter. Let's store this in B, so we'll press store alpha apps for B and enter. Now let's write down the approximate value, and the exact value would be B times the variable k. So the approximate value would be k times the value we found on the calculator, 
which is one half times this integral, which is approximately 3.4939. So the moment about the x-axis is approximately 3.4939k, but the exact value would be the value we have stored in b times k. And now we'll find the moment about the y-axis, which is equal to k times the integral of x times f of x, which is 3 sine x, minus g of x, which is 0.25x, integrated with respect to x from zero to pi over two. Now we'll go back to the calculator. So again, math, option nine, enter. The integrand is x times three sine x minus 0.25x. So there's the integrand, comma, x, comma, zero, comma, pi divided by two, close parenthesis, and enter. So the approximate value is 2.6770. So the approximate moment about the y-axis is 2.6770k. But let's store this in C, so we'll press store, alpha program, enter. So the exact value would be C times K. Now that we have the values we need stored in A, B, and C, we can find the centroid or center of mass. Notice how that the moment about the y-axis divided by M on the calculator would be CK divided by AK, where the k's simplify out, and the moment about the x-axis divided by m would be bk divided by ak, where again the k's simplify out. So if we find these quotients on the calculator, we can determine the coordinates of the centroid. So let's go ahead and try it. We have c divided by a for the x-coordinate. That would be alpha program divided by alpha math, enter. And we will round this value, notice how it's approximately 0 0.995, which we see here. And now for the y coordinate, we have b divided by a. So we'd have alpha apps divided by alpha math, enter. And notice how the approximate y coordinate would be 1.298, which we see here. So if we plot this approximate point on the coordinate plane, Pi divided by four here is approximately 0.785. Pi over two is approximately 1.571. So 0.995 on the x. So 0.995 would be maybe somewhere in here. And the y coordinate is approximately 1.298, maybe somewhere in here. So this point here would be the centroid so if this was a thin plate with uniform density, this would be the point where this plate would balance. I hope you found this helpful.